G'day guys, welcome back. So I just want to say massive thanks for all the likes and comments on the last couple of videos. I'm back down at the distillery today. We've got a 50 litre barrel that I picked up from the cooperage yesterday that we are gonna get ready and we are gonna get filled up. So let's head inside and I'll take you through that process. Let's go. So this is the barrel we're gonna be filling today, a 50 litre ex bourbon from Buffalo Trace. Now there's a bit of a story behind this one. Uh, we actually found out from the cooperage that the head that was on this barrel, when it was bigger, because we do get them resized down to this 50 litres, which is uh, much better for us. It's um, much more practical for the size of our distillery. Uh, the head on this actually had some stamps on it that did let us know that this barrel was used for the Weller product out of Buffalo Trace Distillery. Now, a lot of people don't really know the extent of the products that Buffalo Trace produce. They don't just produce the standard Buffalo Trace bottling. They have a host of other really, really nice, sometimes really exclusive bourbons. So, stoked to get our hands on this barrel. And what we're going to do now is get it ready to fill up with new make spirits. So, let's get into it. The first thing we do when we get a new barrel is swell the timber up. We do this by just mostly or partly filling it with hot water. That creates a nice steamy environment inside the barrel, swells up the timber and makes sure it doesn't leak when we actually add that valuable new make spirit. And now that our hot water has been in that barrel for a little bit, we're just going to give it a quick visual inspection. And all we're doing is just checking for leaks. And this one is all good. Now this is what we'll be going into that barrel. Crystal clear new make spirit. Now the problem at the moment, this is way too strong to go into a barrel. Alcohol being a solvent, at the percentage this is at, it's going to interact with that barrel way too hard. So we want to bring it down to our barrel entry proof. Now, I'm not going to say exactly what that is, but it's less than this and it's in the 60% range. So to bring this down from the 71% that it currently is, we're going to add some water. 7.65 litres of water to be exact. Now, once we've done that, we do just want to check the ABV and make sure we've got this right. Because there's no takesy backsies here. Right, so we've got our barrel ready, we've got our spirit ready, and it's time to put the two together. And now that we're confident that there's no leaks in our barrel, we can get the water out, then we'll get the weight of it. All right, we've taken all our measurements, we've recorded everything we need to record. As I said, spirit's ready, barrel's ready, so now it's time the two shall meet. So just through a simple siphon hose, we're running a new make spirit out of the spirit receiver, which is this drum right here, and straight into our used Buffalo Trace barrel. And guys, the smells coming out of there, phenomenal. And that's gonna be job done, guys. So that barrel will sit on the rack behind me for the next four to five years. We'll check on it from time to time, see how it's going, but this is going to be one exciting barrel when it comes out. So hopefully a few of you are still around for that content in a few years time. But listen, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do me a massive favor by hitting the like button down below. Leave a comment or a question if you wish. You guys stay safe, stay awesome. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Later.